You ever wonder what it would be like to dive into a big wet pool of reverb? Oh, wow. It would definitely splash a lot. It would be really wet. Hmm. A big wet pool of reverb. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Guitar Tone Tuesday. And we're looking at this thing right here today, the Jellyfish Reverb from my friend Trevor May from Mayfly Audio right here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Yes, this thing sounds great. It is a studio quality reverb with stereo ins and outs. It is relatively small form factor, but not only is it one great reverb, it is two great reverbs in one. What I like to do with this thing is set up one side, this side right here, to be a short reverb with a little bit less intensity, almost more like a short spring. And then this side over here I like to set up to be a long, lush reverb with a long tail, just like you guys heard in that intro clip. And man, oh man, however you set it, this thing sounds great. You got some modulation in the sound and it just sings. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a different guitar. We're not going to chat too much right away. Let's get into toggling back and forth between a short reverb and a long reverb to see how this thing acts in that kind of a setting. Thank you. 
So what do we have going on with this Jellyfish Reverb? Well, as I say, it's a double-sided pedal. It's two reverbs in one. For each of the sides of this pedal, we have three controls. We have a level control, we have a dwell control, and we have a pre-delay control. Let's talk about those functions. The level control is pretty self-explanatory. That's the level of the reverb effect. Is it going to be quiet and subtle, or is it going to be more intense and in your face? That's what the level is. The dwell control controls how long the reverb tail is. Is it going to be a short, snappy tail, almost like a delay, or is it going to be a long tail, long and lush? That's what dwell controls. Now, the other thing, this pre-delay is very interesting because I haven't seen this on very many reverb pedals. I have seen this on Studio Reverb plugins, you know, with your recording software, but I have never seen this personally on a, on a reverb pedal. What this control does right here is it controls when the effect happens. So it's pretty cool. You can have the reverb effect start right away if this knob is turned down, or it can be less conventional. It can start after your sound. So what you can actually do with this pedal, which is what I'm going to demonstrate in one second, <laughs> is you could have this pre-delay turned way, way, way up, which means that the reverb is going to almost come in like an echo. Um, it's going to come in late, and if you set that reverb tail to be very short, it's going to basically sound like a delay. So let's hear a bit of that. I'm going to have a short reverb sound with the pre-delay turned way, way, way up, and then I'm going to still have a nice long reverb tail to toggle back and forth between. And I'm going to pick up the guitar that I played in the intro for that. So let's check that out. I think this pedal really speaks for itself. It just sounds good. And, you know, we could sit here all day and talk about specs, but let's be honest, it's quite simple. The way it's laid out is very simple, and it was actually really fun to be part of the prototyping process of this pedal with Trevor. He went through 10 versions of it before he settled on this one, and it's one of the 
the pedals that I think he is most proud of because of all the time and the effort that went into it. You know, it's a digital reverb, but it really sounds warm. It really sounds like a studio effect. And to be able to toggle back and forth between two different reverb sounds is something that I have never seen in the pedal before. And it just works. It totally, totally works. I meant to mention that we have these two little toggle switches here, and those are quite simple. One of them controls whether the effect lingers when you turn the pedal off and on, or whether it is a hard cutoff. Now, I like to let the effect linger, um, but you could also have it be a hard cutoff, and you could use that as a very interesting effect in your playing style. Um, and the other, the other toggle switch just controls whether the pedal is in stereo or in mono. So, like I say, no fuss, no muss. It works. It sounds spectacular. Trevor, you knocked it out of the park. It was a lot of fun to be part of this process along with you. And if anyone is interested in a reverb that's a little bit different, check out this Jellyfish Reverb by Trevor May, Mayfly Audio. I'm going to play you guys out with a very cool clip here. I'm going to pick up my Eastman T185MX electric thin line guitar. And we're just going to have a lot of fun. Um, I am going to have this pedal on, but I'm going to play around with different settings on my amp, uh, adding some overdrive. Uh, even I'm going to actually turn on Trevor's chorus pedal as well. And we're going to just see how this thing plays with many different effects. And uh, spoiler alert, it plays well. <laughs> so that's about it for this week's episode of Guitar Tone Tuesday. Check this thing out. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see everybody again next Tuesday. Take it easy. Thank you.